I'm Lynn Knight. My name is Toby Rudolph. And I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? We are, we are stuck in the middle. I stuck in the middle podcast. It's the shit. That's it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're an idiot for not watching it. Welcome back to the Stuck in the Middle podcast. <laughs> I'm joined by my immature friend, Tom Jaboyevic, uh, Toby Rudolph, and Jacob Jaboyevic. We thank you for listening. Um, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe and follow us on, on uh, Spotify or that little YouTube, Instagram, whatever's out there. Keep showing the love and um, we hope to add some value to your day. Thanks for joining us, Tommy and Jakey. Thanks for having us, mate. How good? How good? Uh, Lamb, can you get your feet off the table? Looks oh. very professional and your crotch is out as well. Oh, thanks, mate. Thanks for keeping me. sit up and... Yeah, thanks for keeping me accountable. Doing a professional podcast it's good to here. See you keep like shit. Anyone else accountable except yourself, so thank you very much. As long as everyone else is around me is doing good, then I should yeah, do good too. I just, just want to just check on Tom. <laughs> Any more immature outbursts for the rest of the podcast? You can keep that under wraps, please, mate. I can't promise anything. You can't promise oh, I anything. I can't promise anything. All right. No worries. Well, I uh, can't I'm promise that we'll be friends after this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing I definitely can't promise. <laughs> <laughs> that was good for me. I like that. Um, yeah, I didn't. I can promise you a win this Sunday. <laughs> 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 no, mate, your heart, the heart and soul of your team's not playing. That's the one that's been carrying you guys for about three years. I've done heaps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow Jake got out of first gear and tore his car. Yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you could tear it at school zone. Oh, <laughs> school zone pace, yeah. No, we're happy to have the heart and soul in there and the overpaid fullback. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to know, how are you guys going? How has it been this year? Like, What are you guys sort of, how are you feeling where you're at? Mentally, emotionally, everything. How's it all? New coach and all that as well. How's After it all? you guys out of Desi, how's it feel to have the new coach? Yeah, well, it's been. Um, no, it's it. been good. Yeah, it's been yeah. good. Uh, it's obviously a big change. Like brought a whole new coaching staff in, and uh, we started the we started the year pretty well, but we've kind of fallen off the past couple of weeks. So we've got a big one this weekend, but no, feeling good. Feeling good. Are you going to be disappointed when you're beat by sixty points by the Mighty Cronulla Sharks? Uh, I don't really know how to answer that question, but um, yes or no. Well, if I get beaten by 60, yes, I'll be disappointed. That's all I needed to hear. Thank you very much. Um, what else have we got? So, boys, I wanted to ask you a question. Um, <laughs> the time we all met in Brisbane was when mm -hmm. we, were at, we actually all met at the same time. We did. We did, all three of us. Uh, yeah, we, 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 no, we, watched you, we all met. We watched together. you win a Clive. You watched me win a Clive. That happened, yeah. <laughs> when when you won a few. Oh, when the film was first of me. No, I literally <laughs> when we were coming off that day, dude. Yeah. We were all wearing red cliff shirts. Yes. And we were all there. For the debut, those Redcliffe shirts were on for the entire night as well. Like yeah. you guys didn't take them off. Right, I love we, that. We went to um, we went to Bali last year. The night he was there, and a um, few, few other mates, and my little brother. I've still got that shirt. He wore it. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> it that so makes good. me so happy. I appreciate it. you. Shouldn't you shouldn't have said that? Because now I kind of like you. Um, <laughs> yeah, boys. Um, Jakey going through a bit of injury. Tommy, been a tough year, up and down. Hammy's playing playing a few tricks on you. A little bit of doctor has a, has a headspace, boys. No, it's, a, it's all good, I think. Obviously, it's probably good for our rest, honestly. Huh? You, yeah. haven't, you, haven't had, you haven't had a minute, haven't had a minute <laughs> off in four years. <laughs> 14 years. Not even a minute. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. 80 yeah. minutes a game, every game, all year, every year, plus Origin. Um, Try to no. put Tom on your back <laughs> and the Manly boys. I'm 12 minutes a game. Yeah. Mm. For three games a year. <laughs> restricted, <laughs> you, you restricted. Would. No, it's, it's, been, it's been pretty good, you know. Obviously, we've got some um, good people at the club. I think everyone's... Feeling pretty good, probably in the best, I guess, mental space being for the last few years. As you know, it sometimes gets a bit, uh, how you going with myself, but um, it's all good. Obviously, the last couple of weeks haven't been the best, but we'll be right. We'll turn it around and hopefully just yeah, keep working hard and have big back into the season, mate. What do you reckon's different? Because I know you do, you obviously, you know, put a lot of pressure on yourself and you do hold your team in um, football, like obviously, you might, I don't know, very important in your life. What do you reckon's different now that you can sort of come away from football and not be as stressed about the result and what's going on? Yeah, I've, I've seen some good people like away from football and just really trying to separate myself as a footy player and as a person, you know, like sometimes if you had a, had a loss or poor performance, it sort of just defined your whole week, you know, you wouldn't know. Yeah. You wouldn't go out and enjoy yourself. So really that and just sort of like rugby league doesn't really define me, you know. So it's That's just trying awesome. to separate that. I'm still working on it. I'm getting better. Yes, trust us. There's, there's I, a long I just, way to go. Didn't know, I've never seen like obviously Jake wears his, just does everything he can for the team. So like I, like if he loses, if the boys lose, Jake probably wouldn't talk to anyone for 24 to 72 <laughs> hours. I, anywhere between two days, three days, he's playing. <laughs> until the next game. No one will see Jake <laughs> until like training and he's probably well, still I, off I a few the first year I played against both of you, you weren't playing, shocker. Um, so I was playing against you guys and it was like, I think we, we put a bit, a bit of a score on you. You pumped us at, Go mm. at Gosford, I remember. Yeah, we did, we did. And after the game, I was like, oh, can I to see the boys? I think I just met you like recently in Brisbane, but then we had like dinner at Nancy's house earlier. Yeah. We were all together. I was like, oh, I'll come out to see Jake. And then you just 
straight off the field. I'm just handshakes. And yeah, no yeah, words yeah, at yeah. All. Gone. I was like, oh, I have a chat. I had a chat to you actually. That was terrible. But anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> have we played each other? Yeah, you scored a try with me so actively, actually. Yeah, you, oh, yeah, you did. You I was did. running for my hat trick, I think, wasn't I? Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> One that's of those right. tries was bumping Toby, though. Yeah. There was the hat trick Like try. a piece of shit. Oh, I do remember that. And yeah, then, you do. Was, was that the third one? No. Nah. That was the third one. That was the, third, was the third, one? third one. Yeah, yeah. it was. Oh, okay. I remember it. No crowd at Suncourt. Yeah. yeah. How yeah. bad were those days? Yeah. Do you remember the first game running out with no crowd? Like, funny, but. Like, because like you'd hear everything. Yeah. You'd it was, hear like, it was people... like an intense training session yeah. almost. I remember the first game running out Suncorp, again, obviously Broncos, like, and the lights were off when we ran out the thing, like onto the field, and then all the, they all came on and there was just nothing. It was like mm. dead quiet. Yeah, that was a weird stadium. To play. It was do, just do you remember like, that game, right? So we were winning by a fair amount, mm, right? Mm. Like, not trying to bag this is context, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then um, at the end of the game, you scored about three tries. Mm. I don't know if you remember. Anyway. I got set off. I got sent, I got sent for oh, 10. For, for Ruben, for, yeah, 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 that's yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. I got, I got put in the bin for 10 because uh, me and Ruben Garrick had like a little altercation and I had I didn't headbutt him, but like I put my head on his head yeah. and then I got sent for 10 for that. And then as soon as I went off, we scored three tries. Yeah, and you were down a man. Anyway, yeah. me and Tom were off at the time. The so fight. I remember there was no one there and I just remember as he's scoring three tries, Dez in the box is absolutely going off his <laughs> nana and you can hear <laughs> everything he's saying. He didn't even need the mic. You can hear him down on the bench. <laughs> yeah, he's... um. I've heard some stories about Des, and you know what? I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind being coached by him to see what it was like. No, nah, you'd love it. I would love it. it. Yeah, I heard he's a good man. And Mate, like, he's a smart guy. Best. Hey. Smart guy. Smart guy. Hey. Just yeah. a bit mentally unstable sometimes. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, you'd love it. They yeah, can go also, off. They can blow up though. Can also, he's, he's, got, he's got a blow up in him. Yeah. But he's good. Mate. He's but a yeah, great coach. You guys did speak very highly of him. I was only joking about it. I know you didn't get him sacked. I definitely did. not have been responsible, but I know you wouldn't have done. No, honestly, I think anyone who's been coached by the man knows. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard good things. I'm only joking. He's got a great head of hair. He does. some of that. Take, you take, the yeah, so like yeah. take a bit of thickness out of that. Yeah, you? it's pretty impressive. I won't lie. Uh, this is a question I wanted to ask you both of you, actually. So um, you guys grew up, obviously, in Manly. You're still playing there now, lucky enough to have also not really gone too far in your careers. When you were growing up in Manly, no one knew you from Barrow Soap. You could go and go about your day and live your lives the, you know, normally. Now, obviously, it's very different. Um, how How is that? Like, is it, Do you wish you could go back to the way it was? Are you, are you, obviously, you're happy now, but... It kind of like Pandora's box is open. And you guys really can't do what you were doing when you were kids growing up. So. Oh yeah, but like no one can really do what they were doing when they're kids. Oh, trust uh, me, my friends can. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, you probably can, but <laughs> <laughs> the rest of us, the same when yeah, part yeah. of the population, <laughs> can. But um, no, like I think we've just you know accepted it comes part of the role. Like we love playing rugby league, and mm. we're very lucky that we get to do it. And. Uh, it's not too bad. You, you say hi to a fan here and there. It's, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. it's a good area too. Yeah. Uh, very supportive, especially you know when you're not going if too you, good. If you're going well, <laughs> like they are. Yeah, yeah, if yeah, I'm yeah. not going well, I, I don't see him because I'm at home. So, yeah. it's, so it's all good. You know, yeah, I yeah, see him just when like it's no good. one, no one yeah. else sees Jake, and they're, they're part of the, the no one else. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it is probably it makes it a little bit easier. Not like you probably like your homeowners for most of the guys in the in the suburbs, like you own most of the houses. So like they can't yeah, really be too much. Landlord Being their landlord in that, they can't really be too angry. They might be able to throw a little bit of shade, but they probably are a bit scared to like get yeah, kicked out of the house. The rent goes up. The rent yeah, goes 100%. up. Yeah, yeah, that must be tough for them too. Yeah. It's probably yeah. a good thing. You can keep buying houses, boys. You're safe as a house. <laughs> uh, is well, they, they say hi, it's like, oh yeah, um, rent's due. Is this, those sort of conversations. <laughs> I had 300 bucks on last week, man, are you bitch? <laughs> 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 okay, yeah, that dog that I approved, no more dog in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pets yeah. are not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Good oh, start. Good well, start. start. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Great start. Yeah, obviously, um, Time is for you. Uh, it's a serious question too. Like, uh, like obviously, it's been a tough couple of years. You know, obviously, haven't played as much footy as you'd like to. And um, like, I know how hard you work and how much you value football and, and your role in the team. Um, how's it been, mate? Last couple of years, and obviously, there's obviously on the back of that, the media. Uh, let's call them the media circus that just have to sell papers and have to throw their agenda yeah. behind certain things that obviously have no idea and they just want to get their little face in the public eye. So yeah, look, deal with that shit too. Like probably I didn't deal with it too well when I started. Like obviously um, I started getting a few injuries, you know, four or five years ago, and I found it really hard to watch footy and um, you know watch my teammates, you know, win or lose, whatever the outcome was, was quite hard because you know you want to be out there, you want to enjoy the wins with them, or they're losing, you feel like you can't help them. But I think um, on the back of that, I just kind of 
changed my attitude towards the way I go about it. You know, I started making decisions and making the best decisions that were going to make me the best footy player and, and, and then I could, I guess, be content with the outcome. Like, if I was, um, you know, being an idiot and not putting myself in the best position to uh, play the best footy I could, uh, then I was kind of, you know, let my teammates down. So, you know, that's why I, I guess I'd, I am where I am now and I work really hard and, you know, I'm in a lot better position to deal with the negatives that do come my way. But... I think for now, like it's a little bit of a different challenge. Like, and I'm back, you know, playing footy, and um, you know, there's a, you know, people put, you know, look at me the way I play each week, and they have a, you know, opinion on how they think um, I'm going. And for me now, it's just I'm just doing my best to try and I guess accept that that's just part of it, and you know, move forward. So it is it is challenging, but um, you know, I'll just keep I guess working hard and. To play the best footy I can, and and I'm just got to learn to accept that that's just yeah. part of the game, and I'm just got to move forward with it. For sure, if, if there was any kids out there going through, you know, obviously a couple of years of, of big setbacks like yourself, and um, you know, you've obviously learned a lot of lessons about yourself and how to get through those times. What would your advice be to anyone out there going through a hard time with injury and, and doubting themselves and that kind of stuff? Yeah, well, for me, it was like just find what you love, and I love rugby league, and I wanted to play it, and I just had a look at myself and probably wasn't being, you know, fair to come to. You know myself, and teammates, and you know you know, everyone. off-field decisions. Is that what you're yeah, off-field, on-field, like yeah. like how hard. You know, I want to be a rugby league player. How hard do I need to work to do that? Am I making every decision that's making me the best rugby league player? Or am I not? So, um, yeah, for everyone out there, if you're a sport person, whatever you want to do, if if you want to do something, and you're having setbacks, whatever, just you know, I'd I would just you know take that approach on, and I think, you know, if you do those setbacks do come your way, at least you you're putting every uh, you're making every decision you can to be the best at whatever you want to do so you can at least live with the outcome. 100%, man. That's awesome. Well, I want to ask you, Tom, as well. You uh, used to be with Nike uh, yep. a couple of years back. When you selfishly decided to leave them, did you consider the fact that I wouldn't get any more free Nike gear? Yeah, so I only left them last year, but um, okay, I with ASICs right. now. So you were with like last year as well, and I got zero gear for the entire year when you were with Nike last well, year. I made, up for, the, I made up for the loss. No, I know, but for the time I did live with Liam, you know I enjoyed the free gear that well, I got. I actually don't like you. Okay. So, Toby, it was just, that, was, that was what I was getting at. Toby, 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 Toby. I made up for the gear that you didn't get. <laughs> yeah. I racked up quite a bill last year. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. I laughed when I was like, I knew Tom wouldn't say something. I'm like, please say something if this is too much. Like, I don't even know if I want all this stuff. <laughs> yeah. I just got it because it's free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please tell me if it's too much. Yeah. And he's like, nah, it's all good. Yeah. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead with it. And I made the order. I was like, I think it was close to two grand. Right? <laughs> yeah. In like yeah. cheaper than normal stuff. I don't even know what I got. I don't even know where half of it is. Yeah. You had the most random stuff. Like, I remember looking at it. Like, Look at this bike. What is this? Yeah. Stuff? yeah. I bought, like, I bought the most random shit. I bought LeBron James. I reckon I just gave, let Liam use it and you just use it on the back of it. That's what I should. That's what I should have done. But yeah. I just didn't. Um, like, yeah, I don't even think. have your number. I don't want to have your number. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're off Instagram like, now. Like, so I don't need to block you. You know what was hard? I had your password to your, your account, and I used to just like get bored and just browse. I would never get anything that you put. Oh, actually, so actually, it was hard to like. <laughs> it was hard to not get free stuff all the time. That was yeah, a hard like, choice. I, no, not hard. Was hard got the right word. I used okay. to just browse. You know, have a geese. You like, said oh, hard before. Be, yeah, like, I, I make mistakes. People make mistakes. I apologize. I'm accountable for that mistake. About time you're accountable. Put your foot off the table, please. <laughs> I was very aggressive. I was very I'm aggressive. very comfortable now. Thank you okay. very much. <laughs> well, anyway, you with Asics now? You said Asics, yeah. They won't take me on uh, for a, sp a boot sponsor either. I actually have no one for a boot sponsor. Can I get some? What boots size off are you? you? Your size? No, nah, you're not size 14. 14. He's 14 or 15. This thing. I'm 14. 14 uh, boots. Yeah, I've it's the worst thing ever. If he was one dryer. size less, I would. You wouldn't have any. You'd be on a. But no, because he gets like 15, 8 uh, to 13, 18. Pairs. 13's joggers, 14's boots. So we're on for shoes. Yeah, yeah. Can you get 13 boots? Not for you. Okay, for Liam? No. Oh, for yeah. oh, I won't get it. For you, Pratt? Yeah. Well, are you with, you with Asics too, Jakey? Yeah. Okay. Best, story, Tom. best story about Jakey. Oh, is this know. the X-Play story? The X-Play story, I want to yeah. hear it again. I forgot. I remember so like, X-Play was involved. If anyone out there doesn't remember the X-Play boots, I'm not sure if they're still a thing. They're coming back. They're coming Jake, back. They went into receivership. Do you reckon this is the best story about Jake? Yeah, not the best story about Jake. <laughs> 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 it's just, it's it's just a, it's you did like, say that. It's just defining yeah, like the true character of Jake. Like, like you, you said best, best story. You guys were both. You said best story. So You've known Jake for how long? 15 years. This is number one? 
Oh, or be careful what you say out there because people attach themselves to certain <laughs> words. I reckon you've since you were 16 years old. So what, 10, 11 years, years ago, and this is the best story. I want to hear it, Jake let's go. Boybich. All right, everyone, Ex guys, really be careful with your words when you're Set around the scene. Um, detectives because you just <laughs> do not get to make mistakes out there and they will attach to anything they can like parasites. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, anyway, <laughs> one of the great character attributes of Jake is okay. his loyalty. You know, yeah. And like, so Tom... Got offered one dollar more or something than X Blades. He was gone, absolutely out the window. Classic Tom. Classic Any, Tom. yeah, anything yeah. better, anything well, for money. X Blades were a sponsor of manly, like come through the grades. I don't know if you. Yeah, so know. obviously you were loyal. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. But at. They used to give them to us, you know. Like. Yeah, yeah, but then you guys obviously signed a bit of a deal with him. Obviously, the, the amount was you know irrelevant. But Nike came along, so Dan offered Tom twenty bucks more. He said, "Yeah, anyone else?" But you know, he was loyal to me, and um, Jakey just you know they stuck solid. The, the deal for you was a lot more than what. Maybe what you're getting, you said, no, what? Like, I'm, you know, I just, I don't want to leave. I'm going to stay loyal to the boys, and I just, I love, I loved hearing that story. And then they and folded. They ended up folding. And then like they folded, yeah. Later. But like, you stuck yeah. solid to the end. Like, you went down. Literally you to went the down death. with the shit. Down, down with the shit. With the shit. Jake charged him that much that so went into receivership. I'm the bad Tom, man. Tom, yeah. Tom dumped off the sinking ship, and, yeah. and he's the bad boy. Yeah, you are. Well, you know, actually, on that tangent, so I heard another story about yourself from um, Kim McGuinness. So this was, um, I think, the origin when you had it in the bubble. 2020, I was actually his roomie. Yep. Yeah. So he told me that um, he, you refused to let him sleep in. Wait, let me try to word this correctly. You refused to let him have the smaller bed. You're like, nah, you take the double and you well, play 20 Origins first. at a time. I got there first. So I'm just taking the worst room. You know what I mean? It was actually a great setup. <laughs> Did you hear that? Obviously, yeah. <laughs> like, Obviously. Like, like, what, what do you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like, it was a great setup. Because yeah, yeah. we're in like... Because we're there for six weeks, yeah? yeah um, at the yeah, end yeah. of the so year. You wanted we had a shit bed like, for six... You wanted it. Three what bedroom else? town out. So I still got my own room. Like, it was a good setup. Was it a single bed? No, no. It was... Double, but he he got the good room. Okay, okay. Like it was like a townhouse thing. You got the master, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Sort of like that. Those sort of vibes. Up at Quinda, sorry, not Quinda Waters. Where is it? Magenta. The oh, golf Magenta Shores. Up there. Yeah, yeah, I've been there before as well. Cracker joint. So like, Cam McInnes, good guy, good room legend, too. Yeah. Legend, very clean. Good talk, good conversation. Much better than Tom's in general. Better looking. <laughs> good anyway. player too. Good player, great yeah. player. Um, I won't take better looking. Yeah, well, <laughs> too bad already. That person. Yeah, it looks like shit. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> As I was saying, I wanted to sort of ask, get delve into that a bit more. Like, so you're obviously known for being the nice guy in rugby league. Thumbs up all day. How good is it? Just quietly. Can we retired. bring the thumbs up back? I've heard this retired. I just give us one. Just one for the potty. What, for one? the potty. And and this this needs to get like at least a thousand likes. Yeah. The subscribers, all right? And a couple <laughs> yeah. of comments and yeah. a couple of subscribers if I'm going to do it. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's retired. That's the answer retired. Now it's retired. <laughs> Top it's retired. Now the last thumbs up he will ever do. Ever. Yes. Can, can we get a couple of thousand likes to that on the um, <laughs> what's the channel Instagram? Uh, what's your favourite? Stuck, stuck in, in the middle, middle on Instagram. No, no, sorry. Do you not know what it's called, Jake? No, I mean what's it on? <laughs> Spotify. Spotify. Spotify yeah. Sorry. That's got to. That's got to. I knew what it was called. Got to worry. Got to worry. It's getting there. Yeah. 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 Jake's yeah. just done his last ever thumbs up ever in the history of Jake Jaboyevich. Unless he gets two thousand likes. Yeah. Two thousand. And he'll give us a double. Um. So yeah, you decided to walk into Origin Camp. You'd played about I don't know how many games at that time three, four, five, six years of origin and then came out and played a game which is there for, for camp. You're so nice, you decided to give them that room, your thumbs up. You, I've heard you shot people and say sorry. Why are you so nice and why is Tom such a fuckwit? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to him? Fair what, question. What, yeah, like, so, go on. I don't know. I yeah. don't know. Don't know what happened. Just didn't, you were, He was older brother, so like, didn't you like try and pull him into line? Yeah, try and help no, him. I think Tom's fine. I, I, I don't know, sometimes... <laughs> I do something that's not even that nice and it's just like, um, you know, when once, once nice someone guy. goes down that vibe, yeah, 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 that yeah, sort yeah, of yeah. line, everything gets sensationalised, gotcha. you know what I mean? So it's not you. even that nice and yeah, people yeah, go, yeah. oh, that's so nice. Mm -hmm, mm. I reckon that happens a bit, to be honest. Bit of sensationalism. Yep. It's like everyone, everyone, everyone knew Toby was gay then Toby said he was gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, yeah, yeah. Big news, like I already knew. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's like, like the Ian Thorpe thing. I was like, when that came, I was like, I thought that was a thing. Yeah, duh. Yeah, it was yeah. similar thing. And you know, yeah, just in today's society, everything gets bloody Blown up. Yeah. Of course. All right. I think a little bit of that. Okay, all right. Um, have you got good, any... Good question, but have, got... <laughs> <laughs> have you got anything to say in the matter? Have you got anything for... Oh. Have you got any, any, you know, unique insight or any point of view, anything smart to say for once in your fucking no. life? <laughs> no, not really. Okay, good. I guess it takes a fuck with the no fuck with, so... <laughs> Are you saying that you know me and I know you? Yeah. Cute. You got a bad rap. Anyway, boys, it must have been pretty awesome. Like, I saw you, um, it all happen from afar. Like, you guys coming up, playing footy together. Then you know, it's three years now playing playing footy in the same NRL team. Must be pretty special for the family. I know yeah, it's big, cool. um, big John and Melissa must love it. 
Yeah, very, they're very proud. You know, it's really cool. Obviously, me and Tom probably took it for granted for a bit, you know, getting to play together for so long. But then I'm um, getting Ben coming in there now and watching him like work really hard and get there and just. It's yeah. mad watching me. It's what, mad watching Benny run around. Oh, it's cool. I it's love when he comes right? on. You know, he comes sort of comes yeah. on at the end. He just tries that hard. You know, like just sort of trying to make his own way. And he's he's doing well. He's good. He's a good kid. You know, so really happy for him. And it's um, yeah, it's cool. Really cool. Yeah, that'd be yeah. sick. Uh, left field question: When you guys do decide to win a competition, who will it be for? Because it's clearly not Manly. Ouch. <laughs> Owie. <laughs> Premiership. Premierships don't define us. You know what I mean? Yeah, but everyone wants one. Yeah, we want one. We definitely want one. So where's it going to be? Are you counting your one for Redcliffe? And Newtown? Are you counting them? The Premierships or the Clive Churchills? Both. Yes. <laughs> Duh. I've won two. He wears I'm them to bed. I'll yeah. count me Mona Bar Raiders ones then. That's not the same. I was paid. I was a paid professional athlete. Were you paid? We yeah. Pretty well back then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only person to get played playing under 14s. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah 100%. Oh, mate. Uh, yeah, I count mine. Stop trying to deflect and change the subject, answer the question. <laughs> Cut that. No, it's sweet. Oh god, I'm having fun. Are you having fun? I actually have. You are. Right. Actually have. You having a good time, Jake? I am, mate. That's, that's, what, that's what it's all about, Liam. Couldn't care less. That's what it's all about. Though. Everyone having a good time. I'm having a good time. Can you, you talk me through? Sorry, man. Can you talk me through the turtlenecks? You know what? Thanks so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. You know, to actually bring this energy no, 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 to this no, podcast. No, no, yeah, I didn't answer the question. What was the question? Sorry. What was the, the turtlenecks? Question? Yeah, but like you see, I never thought we'd be in this situation where like. With Toby and I would have uh, other good mates on behind the camera having a conversation. <laughs> good mates. Yeah, that's like my good mates. Anyway, my Your good mates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My good mates. So it's, we, we do, we do really appreciate you guys taking the time out. No, no, right. It's a big well. drop for me, well. It is, and thanks for bringing us on a Friday. I can't it. wait for <laughs> your peak hour. Oh, I didn't think that. Tolls true. peak hour. I yeah. cannot wait. Yeah, yeah your lives must be so hard. We just took the chopper, eh? So toll traffic. Did you hear that? Tolls. You won't even see 10 grand come out of that account, let alone four <laughs> bucks each day. Jay. Actually, yeah, Jay. Oh, you drive, did you? <laughs> I didn't even drive. <laughs> well, in a sponsor car. Have you guys ever paid for a toll in your adult lives? Yes. A toll, yes. When? Jake's missus used to live in Penrith, mate. Yeah, but like, it's, that doesn't mean well, if you have well, a sponsor car well, that pays for the tolls, and no, you don't, don't pay for tolls. They don't. They just give you the car. I wouldn't know. I'm very thankful car. to Bill Buckle. You told me that you get yeah. And I don't have a sponsor yours. car, mate. And, you uh, don't? I pay for my own tolls, so does Tom. So Is this facts? Yeah, I've ever mine what are they called? E tag. E tags, yeah. Yeah, it seems like you pay tolls each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Real often, eh? All oh that time. thing, that thing that comes on the windscreen oh, with the E on it. Mm, oh yeah, it's definitely yours. <laughs> no, I had a car for one bit. I'll like be invoicing a small, the, uh, small period where I had the toll didn't expense. Pay tolls. I don't even own a car anymore. Yeah, I know. How do you get around, by the way? Just like oh, I know, everything I know, yeah. will just fall into his lap just quite it nicely. Does, it does a little bit, doesn't it? Does. It does. It's sort of it's annoying. Been Pretty fun for me. You're borderline Antoning it at this point. Yeah, look, yeah. I, I've been blessed. Like, I don't know what it is. People just don't need their cars when I need them. And Yeah, um, it's worked out that well for you. It's been crazy. It's been insane. Honestly, I was talking about this to someone. Like, I have haven't had a car in, what, like 16 months now? And, yeah. like, I've never really been without. Like, yeah. Well, I just, it's a really good excuse. I can't come, mate, don't have a car. Like, if I don't want to go somewhere, yeah. it's a really good excuse. It's a win-win. Yeah. It's like, you get that a lot. Sorry, mate, can't come. Toby, what are you doing? Anything? I can't come. I got to have <laughs> Sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Super sick. Yeah. Um, I want to. Uh, I actually want to ask a question related to Origin for you both. When was your first game? Twenty seventeen. Yep. And you were twenty eighteen. Yep. What was it like getting the call? Like, the, the, I'm guessing at the time there was chat about you guys because, like, it's, it's still a dream of mine to do that. Obviously, fuck, I'm probably not anywhere near there at the moment. Injuries, form, whatever it is, but. I don't know, Just it's the biggest dream when you're a kid to, p to play for your state, to play for the Blues. So, like, what was it like getting the call? Did you debut with Jakey? No. Oh, no, sorry. It wasn't I, his debut, wasn't but I, he was playing. Your debut, he was playing? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, man. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Like, I still remember running out. Like, mm. first game was at the MCG. It was like 80-odd thousand people there. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, and you, still, like, you just scored a meaty, too. Yeah, yeah I did. James Maloney crossed your kick. Yeah. It was mad. Do you Could remember every, everything? <laughs> <laughs> no, a lot of things. A, a lot of things, Tom sings, yeah. Okay. A lot of um, I don't, that many, try. I don't have many tries to remember Kanoa. myself, yeah. but um, Sun Stadium, scored, you know? <laughs> mate, you won't believe this. I can, I can you've scored a couple. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Have a guess. Double digits. I oh, yeah, four, double digits. 13, 14. No, no, this nah. is gonna shock you. No, no, no. Like, I, I can, know this. He because scored we, like double digits in a year before. I reckon. Believe it or not, I know now I'm a tackling bag, right? Like literally, like haven't offloaded the ball or broken a tackle for three years, right? But. I've scored 31 tries. I was going to get 33. I was, I was my guess. Have you really? One year. One year I got nine. The next year I got seven. That's a good couple of years. Okay. I haven't helps. scored 
What happened to those years? Yeah, you, you were a try younger? scorer. I remember even in the 20s. Nah, we were going absolute just rat's like, ass. Like, we are coming... Just, think ahead you know i knew a move was coming right so yeah, they play yeah. the ball i'd yeah. go yeah the break had come and i'd just be there you know what i mean because i'm not quick enough backup supporters. i'm yeah. not i'm not quick enough once there's a break to catch up so you just so you go on the play the ball it was the one with um was it god was that his name that little fullback you guys had yeah hook and you kicked actually for kicked him. For him. yeah yeah i remember that that was man, 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 i remember playing against jakey in like junior footy so he was one of our raiders i was chroma kingfishers for a little bit jake was playing prop halfback Pretty bit of bit of second row. He was kicking 40 20s. Did you chip and chase? I had that in me. He, yeah. was cut- <laughs> he, was, he was throwing cutouts to wingers like it was the most insane shit. Yeah, and now right. I'm literally having, like, as I said, mate, it was actually yeah, a time where yeah, yeah. there was yeah, a time right. where I tried to chip and chase. And it went, oh, this I, is it, good. It, I was like, we'll run on Mark. No, I think what's the best story about Liam? Yeah, yeah, this is a good story. This is the best story. Yeah. My best story. This is the best story. Yeah. Like, they were we'll, flogging us. We'll put we'll, like, up by 40 and I, I was carrying on. I think I was playing six for some reason. Yeah, he was being the biggest snob, eh? Like, yeah. yeah. We'll run a mark, but I had a pretty good game. He was a knob. I had a pretty good game. Yeah, and then I tried to just be like full hero and I tried to chip and chase, hit my shin. Jakey just caught on the 10. As he went 90 and scored untouched. I should have been 90 and scored. Like 15. Yeah, okay, right. It was crazy. I was like, sorry, someone's going to get him. Like, I'll run back. No one got him. I was like, obviously pissed off. Where, you where's didn't feel the like change? Trying. You <laughs> didn't feel like trying. I, I hit, I kicked it, tripped over, like, and I was nowhere. <laughs> to be seen. Yeah, I'd scored four. I don't know. I was a bit tired, mate. Far out. <laughs> Leave me alone. Okay, um, <laughs> that's a lot. I like it a lot. I like it though. Uh, Tom, we went, we did some maths over the weekend. <laughs> we crunched some numbers, and uh, the results are as follows. Um, two thousand. Sorry, no. How many games have you played right now? As of as of right now, do you know? Uh, 137. Jake would probably more. 137. I don't reckon I'm that I much. I think 130. One one. I'll like, be in the low 130s. 130s low 130s, man. Yeah. All right. Well, what we what we figured out, what we deduced, we have our damn producer, our producer Dan. Sorry, crunch the numbers. He's, he's a good guy, isn't he? He's a great guy. He's a chill producer. Yeah. Well, good guy. It's good to have my. It's, it's good to still have him on board. Yeah. At one stage, you were getting paid fifty thousand dollars a minute for your efforts for Manly. Jake, how does it feel being the cornerstone of a team when your youngest brother is being paid that kind of money to do nothing? I, I didn't know. Did footy just is it just involved around your efforts only involves playing? Just you, per game. So we're, you don't have to try. Highest trade. paid player per game. That's what we we're getting at. That's right. You said per minute. Yes, yeah, so a per game. No, that was what it came that's down what it's, to. That's what the my numbers been crunched like into that. That's yeah. what was happening. That was the highest. Can I check the workout? How you worked it out? Yeah. We'll show you workout. Pass it on? No, we'll show it after the podcast. We're doing the podcast right no, now. Pretty, this, is, this is a professional podcast. So yeah. You can't Do just you really stop, want to pause and, just and look at numbers to the, the podcast? Like, oh, that's great viewing, Tom. No wonder you didn't have a podcast. <laughs> Jesus. I reckon if I ran a podcast tomorrow, yeah. it'd be better than this fucking shit show. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You might be right, but you don't run a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> And until and you do, do, you will sit there and you respect the structure of ours. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Your mother raised you better than that, Thomas. I know she did. Oh, right. God. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys have got a little bit going on outside of footy. Um, it's probably, like you said, Jakey, you're pretty important to um, separate yourself from yeah. what you do. It's not who you are. I found that at the highway. Uh, Tommy got a degree. Very smart boy. Did you? You yep. got a finance degree. You got like 97 in his ATAR. Oh, you're one of those. Yeah, yeah like boring. one of those guys that's good at everything. Good at everything, yeah. Fuck. Love those stories. Have you ever, did you hear that story? Like, you know how you hear about NRL players or sports when they have, like, they played like, another sport okay, like when they were younger? Like, oh, they could have went either way. Oh, like, AFL story. Tom yeah. could have played AFL, yeah, yeah, could have yeah. been a superstar. And yeah. I, I remember, like, I was pretty curious. Tom, like, were you good at AFL? He goes, no. Nah. <laughs> no. I was average at best. Like, didn't yeah. even make this team, this team. They just got a photo somewhere. He was in, like, the Tunis Swans Academy. Like, anyone can sort of rock up and train. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And they just grabbed that and went, bang. Yeah, it could have been a superstar. Yeah. Love those stories. It's actually fun. AFL was fun. Yeah, it's a fun it game. It is a very fun we, game. It's cute. Yeah. It's good. People with the Tigers back in the day. We're in, like, sec division. Yeah, yeah. Good fun. Yes. You guys have got something good else game. coming up. You guys are talking about doing a golf vlog? Oh, we love, um, uh, there's a YouTube golfers called Good Good. And we absolutely love them. So yeah. we just like going on the course filming and editing Literally videos. Names. Yeah, that's just right. Just like, like Mate, no fun. such thing as an original idea. Where, where'd that come from? Yeah. Honestly? Everyone just copies and. and but now there's, there's heaps of them, but good, good. Check them out. Yeah, I will. I will definitely. Go out They're all about boy. golf, but so like. Yeah. I don't mind golf. We've had some yeah. good golf days. Yeah, golf. Remember the Brisbane day when oh. we Was that before we met him? <laughs> was that the day before we met Tony? Yeah, you played oh. off Joey Lay Lewis handicap? Yeah, yeah <laughs> I was pretending to be BJ Lay Lewis or something. And everyone was like, 
This is before I even played first grade, and they're like everyone was pretty pumped to meet BJ Lua because yeah. I had no handicap. Yeah. So like I had to have a fake name for a handicap and like get his handicap and whatever it was. So yeah. I imposed my like on paper I was BJ Lua. <laughs> a couple of guys in Brisbane were like pretty pumped camera fans. Like, yeah. I can't wait to meet BJ Lua. Yeah. And they're like, "Where's BJ?" I'm like, "Yeah, good to meet you, boys." <laughs> <laughs> BJ, oh yeah, same name, whatever. Mate, <laughs> that that weekend just keeps evolving. Like Mate, that more was, and more like keeps coming out. Of the, I didn't funnest, know that. That was one of the best four days yeah. of just car. Yeah. It was like a mini schoolie between four mates. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's good. Right, it was so hectic. But a couple along the way. Mm. Yeah. So like, go on then. You I was going to talk about golf stories. Yeah, about best golf. Remember our golf game in Hamilton Island? Oh was, my <laughs> god. What happened to the island? Like pretty good trips. I'm guessing this was just as good. What happened? It cost, like, it cost us eight grand. It was the hardest golf. We didn't know. Like it looks like a beautiful golf course. Everyone talks about it. Like mm. it's amazing when you're out there. Mm -hmm. Turns out the guys we just like we, were, we hung over. We had a big night. Like we weren't like feeling the greatest, but we booked in. We're keen to go. Yeah. And we got there. We bought like a sleeve of twelve, maybe twenty four mm. balls between us. We're like, that's gonna be sweet. The guy sort of looked at us. Goes, you guys play much golf? <laughs> and they're like. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Like, he was just like, made me question myself immediately. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, mm, maybe, maybe get some more balls. <laughs> I'm like, what does he fucking know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we go, all right, mate. Like, a bit of an ego check. I'm like, no, we're sweet. We lost them all, what, three holes in, maybe? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we might, we might have made the fourth hole with no balls left. No way. We're like, it was the hardest course. Was, was, it, was so it a go hard. back but and get more balls or like, give I think up? some no, sort of rankings. Like, playing by the top, end of five, top five like, hardest courses in the world or yeah. something. Like, outrageous. outrageous. Like, mm. It's the whole course just keeps going. There's no like fairway either size. Like it's continuous all the way around be the like whole head. Head. between like holes and shit. Yeah, you couldn't have, you couldn't walk it. Like it's yeah, right. K's and K's of golf course, and it's beautiful. Like, but there's no such thing as no fairway, which is I need some. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, a yeah, of, bit of error. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So if you miss the fairway, that's a lost ball. There's bush, <laughs> snakes, everything. Like, and then like the golf course, it's ridiculous. Anyway, we, the we hardest were, like, thing we've ever done. At one stage, we got hard, we're like, we've maybe six holes in. Probably not. Okay. It was the oh, hardest yeah. thing ever done. done. <laughs> ever. Never, oh, ever. Never, ever. Never the hard ones. Wow. Wow. I didn't okay. know playing Origin was so easy. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Hardest thing ever done. Yeah, must work we really might have made six holes in, and then we were like in the bush trying to find balls. So it was too far to go back. Yeah, yeah. Like, we're like, oh, I'm not that keen. Yeah, yeah, somehow made it through, and like, yeah, beautiful golf course. Never probably gonna do it again. You guys um should put up the. I always remember this when you guys were playing. I think with both your brothers, younger brothers, and you got pushed in. Yeah, oh, I remember that, that was. Yeah, nice yeah. <laughs> do you? Do you actually? Why do you get that in the in the golf vlog? Get that shit going again. Push yeah. him in. That was around so him. funny. Then that I saw that. So he used to. He used to like. Terrorize Jake. Ben, I heard a story. Mate, ben, love ben pushed him. you in, yeah? Yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At one right. stage, was ben. it once a night, Ben was just putting your toothbrush in the toilet? He used to just do things just to me high, just to. Like, just you? Mm. Yeah. Well, so, to, so how it worked was like Ben and Jake were on the house. Right his. Yeah, and then like yeah. mum down in the middle and then me and Luke down the other end. Oh, okay. And he just yeah. used to hammer me. Like, yeah, right. And just, he didn't care. But, just like a typical young guy. It's good. The best one, he would used to flood the. Bathroom, so he'd walk honestly, in don't know what he did. Like you, you know how like you have a shower, yeah, and like a bit of water goes out in the, yeah, yeah, in the outside the shower. Yes, yeah, sweet. Anyway, this used to be a flood. I don't know what he was doing. I think he turned it on and pointed the shower out just to annoy me. And you'd walk in, there's fucking water everywhere. <laughs> did yeah. you ever blow up ever? Yeah, yeah. I was tr he just I kept doing. I had to go up there and um, I was a peacekeeper. You had to mediate. With, no, so me and Jake swap rooms. Oh, yeah, she likes rooms mm. in the house. Jake yeah. would have to like buy twenty packs of toothbrushes and hide them. Because he'd hide them. Jake and like very similar. Weirdos, so they used yeah, to go with yeah. each other, but now they're besties. Now we're like besties. Yeah. Oh, like, this is just growing up. I don't know. This is yeah, just... no, we're growing up in the same household. I have a brother as well. You met him. You met him on the, the, the ski stuff. The, can the ski, best, the best, yeah. the best, yeah. best yeah. skier yeah. I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, pretty. He's, 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 he tries he's hard. Not hard. Yeah. Hey? To be the best, the best Rudolph. Rudolph in time goes, <laughs> he's not hard. <laughs> he was that good. <laughs> yeah, he was. When he rocked up, just got his, he's like massive, like. Yeah, Strong yeah, yeah. looking. Yeah, he that was the was best. So funny when we did that challenge and like I was injured, you were injured, something, and Josh just stopped doing it. So we just. Josh like, couldn't be fucked running. He just didn't we're doing do this it. fitness challenge for a bit of context. We're doing this fitness challenge. At 42. Like, at, at a, a fitness at a, at a, challenge and a half. At a rebel, <laughs> at a rebel gym. And we yeah. like Toby was supposed to come or someone was supposed to come. So we got we got the super sub in and Josh was just the best there. And we didn't do a part of the challenge and like we won by a mile. So, no, we, meant we, to, so it was 42 Ks. It was four of us. You do a ski effort. However yeah, long you want, and then you run, and then when you get off the ski, you got to do a two hundred meter run. Yeah, Liam had an ankle injury. I just had surgery. Yep, just had surgery. I had, so I actually had something. You had surgery too, knee surgery or something. Yeah, something had something, and then mm. 
My brother had a bad back. Josh had a bad back. It yeah. didn't look it on the ski bar. <laughs> <laughs> he had a really bad back when it came to running on the ski. He was yeah, 100% yeah, yeah. fresh. <laughs> Never been healthier. And, and so we're training with all these CrossFitters. They're by the book. They're doing yeah, they're every run, right? And yeah, we've, we've won, too. but we haven't done any runs. And we're there celebrating at the end. We won no by, one got around us. We won, by, <laughs> we won by a mile. And they yeah. were just like the dirtiest looks. Like. Just filthy eyes. Hey? Wait, where, where is that part? We're like, we're looking at them going, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, 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 rub their face. No, we cheated, but we still win. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We hit the 42Ks quickest. We don't care. Nah, yeah. We're one more like 2K. Like, better like next time, mate. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, I think Josh did one run and then he was like, no, Oh, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, hot, it was a hot day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah back training. to what I was saying before. Growing up, in, yeah, growing up in the household with brothers, it's just, I don't know, there can be tension, there can be a bit of this and that. But then once you move out and, I don't know, into your own world, you sort of you come back to each other and. Quite cute. Shout out to Josh Rudolph. If you're listening, my brother, love you. Love you, Josh. A lot more than Toby. Sick, bro. Great ski, Josh. Everyone, everyone. <laughs> oh, I'd come back. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, 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 you did it. Like, another another thousand. Thousand. Another thousand. Have you had anything to add at all? I wasn't involved in that story. No, so. no, no. We're just about brothers and just talking and just maybe saying anything. No. Sick, bro. <laughs> Sick. Such a good guest. Come and have you back. <laughs> so much fun. Such a good podcast for you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys yeah. are right. You guys want to cuddle, hug it out, or something? No, we're all good over here. That's what it is. Um, did you have any like pickerings with your brothers growing up, or were you sort of just nah, no, 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 like punch ons or anything? But no, nah. uh, no, no, not punch ons. Northern just, Beaches boys well, never, yeah. never fought in our life. <laughs> yeah, funny, Dad can throw him though, can't he? Big Johnny, oh, he Johnny talks about it. back in the day. Yeah. yeah, right when he was playing for Motorvale back in the day. I remember Johnny back Maribu in the day. Shark. It was a good like Johnny Chaboy story. I remember like I don't think the you best. definitely hadn't had a beer yet, and I was pretty loose as a kid, pretty loose, and then like. Tommy maybe was like just starting to have a beer. There's no and drinking before 18 with Johnny. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, you would have yeah. been over 18. Yeah. And Johnny right. pulled me aside one time and he's like, mate, no idea. When, when are you going to take Jake here? Like, when are you going to get him on the piss? Yeah. yeah. Like, he just, it was like, it was the funniest chat. He was, I don't know, I don't know, Johnny, mate. Which I was, the biggest, to I was the biggest steer. Jake had just come out. <laughs> Jake, he, Jake he had so many different stages of like, he'd just have a beer, then he'd like have a few, and then he'd just backdoor it because he didn't want to be drunk. Yeah, okay, yeah. But Jake, he was so switched on and so like solid and goal oriented. Like, 21 was the first time he had a beer. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Mate, how, I don't know how you like, how you were so solid in your it was, like. It was actually easy because like, because you were just. As, it, we're more like that age. Everyone was obviously drinking. And everyone wanted this, but Jakey was just that far ahead. Like, how did you get there? Like, you just, I know, knew I just what never you wanted. wanted it. I don't know. Like, just the way we were brought up. Like, obviously, you're not allowed to drink before 18, so I just wasn't allowed to. Like, that just yeah, wasn't a thing. Yeah. So I never wanted it. And then I was 18. It's like I don't even want it. Like, I don't mm. know. You don't miss it because you never. Like, tried I've never it. had. Like, you know what I mean. And then just wanted to play footy and. John was good. He was good. Like he, things like school isn't that. He, like we didn't want to go, but he just be like, you're not going. Like it's not like got footy training like it like yeah def it definitely helps having a it was good know, no, no, they like brought John us up really stuff. well but just i just didn't really want it i don't know when, it wasn't really old, me. when you guys moved out how old is all i was 26 okay earned a million dollars a year for six years and then you jake you're I'm, talking to jake how old sorry i've said yeah 24 Tom. 25 ended 21 we got back from yeah right what just loved it there or big enough house just not letting anyone's nerves mm -hmm. That was good. Oh, close, like family. Was good. Close, close family. Close family. Yeah. Close family. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Another thing I kind of sort of wanted to touch on, like, like you, I was talking about you, like at 20, 21, you were playing first grade, didn't want to be, you knew exactly who you were. And like Tom, you sort of went from like, I remember playing, we we'll playing SG ball. You're obviously decent. You were like, you know, better than most. But then all that one year, you sort of just went bang. See you guys, four tries a game, first grade debut in the space of like a short period. You guys obviously seemed like you had that extreme confidence from like a young age. Like where do you think that came from at a young age? Our kids obviously that's probably their biggest issue. They get to a certain age to start that pacing and they struggle for confidence and they just drop off. Like what do you guys put that I down? I think to? we just like were very focused on like rugby league. Like we played it since we were, you know, four or five years old, you used to watch it and love it. And mm. like yeah. We sort of knew what we yeah. wanted, yeah. yeah. But, I don't know, confidence is a hard one. Like, yeah, that's a different thing. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like uh, preparation. I a couple guess, of mates of mine like struggling like at different times, like how do you get confidence? I was like, man. It's like, it's hard. Like this year I, I don't know, when I said earlier, I've been seeing a few people. One thing that I think's worked really well for me is just each day, like you just write down three things that you want to achieve for that day. Like it can be so simple. It can be eat well, like train hard. Train hard. You're struggling with that one. 
Yeah, like good one, Tom. <laughs> good one. Oh, you're on fire, yeah. Zinger. Oh. Zinger, Tommy. <laughs> Cut. Now you're starting to get the podcast game. Good start. He's not happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it's bad. laughs> no, yeah, that's why you don't think ever. And yeah, do that. Do lots of that. He's trying to bury it. Oh, the you put, see, oh, that's that's why you know you're like oh structure it. That's why if I don't structure it, I start sweating when I say shit like that. <laughs> They're like no one likes. It's not funny. They're just like oh, I'm boys. Just Joe's actually making a good point. Can we let me get back to it. Yeah, 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 yeah no, yeah. that was that was a great moment in this podcast. God, that was. Fun. You know, what, let's just bar in it for a second let's all be like silent together for five seconds and bask in Tom Zinger <laughs> what do you call him Zinger wow and now we're back <laughs> and now we're back welcome back to the podcast oh. so Jake as you were saying three things you want to achieve in the three day three things you want to achieve for the day you tick them off that's a great day you know yeah, what I mean like just yep. I don't know. It might not give confidence, but just like small goals. And if I don't know, if you get what you want out of the day, that's a good day, you know? Yeah, it's also okay. a question I have for you, though, Toby, because like you had that, that troublesome period where, like, you know, see, I suppose we unwanted, I just didn't have anything for you. Both. And it felt like you sort of got tossed out to, you know, Queensland Cup, or all respect to Queensland Cup, I'm not saying it's anything less, but you was obviously, that wasn't where you thought you'd be. You went there, you changed things up, and you started killing it. And obviously, you probably gained a bit of confidence and all that kind of stuff. Where did it all start? Like, how did you get to there? That's, that's the question that I. The only thing I can put it down to was the fact that I was 22 years old. I'd, I'd moved out of home. I'd moved into state. Um, I knew that uh, I didn't want to sort of be there for long, playing reserve grade. It was either going to be this was my year or I was going to go back and just be, you know, enter the workforce in some capacity. And footy was just a dream that I would never achieve. So whether or not I was going into games thinking, like, you've, you've made the move now, you know, you want one last crack, sort of back against the wall type of thing. Um whether it was playing with a better team, I don't know, but all that happened was I played a couple of good games. First one was average, a couple more good games. And then you, before a game, you just start thinking, I can make a difference here in this team. And then that just sort of carried through me to now, really, I guess. Just belief, yeah. Like, yeah, just belief. It's just like if the hard thing with confidence is it's hard to sort of obtain it if you're not doing well. Like, I don't really know how, to, how I, would, I would have gone about it. Like, if I wasn't playing well at Freecliff, I wouldn't have been able just to muster up confidence out of nowhere and, and, and keep playing well. But if you do something that's good and then you. You know, you, you get that feeling of like, I can make a difference. I can I can do this. You know, I think I, I could achieve the dream. And um, I must just had that mindset throughout all of 2018 before I met you, lovely gentleman. Yeah. You know, you know what's good, I reckon, in a like footy environment, there's a lot of things like you can control. Yeah. Like, obviously, you can't control like how many tries you're going to score and whatever. Well, but like things like effort, effort and attitude, you can get them right. They're things you can control and they sort mm. of give you a basis for. Um, that's, that's doing good stuff, you know what thing, I mean? It's a big thing Wayne always sort of instilled in us. Like, he was Definitely. massive on, you know, oh no, just like putting things into perspective. Like, you guys, boys, you come to training, you get paid this, whatever it is, you're doing what you love. You come to train, sometimes you beat up your ass, you whinge and this and that. Like, you don't have to feel good to train good, you don't have to feel good to play good. Like, it's sometimes how you feel is irrelevant. Like, and those are the days that you get to train, and you guys have obviously gone through it. I've definitely gone through it. You're, you're pretty fucking sore. You feel like shit, and you just get out and train, and you just do it. Like, it's not thinking, oh, what am I going to do? You just do it. You do your best. He goes, if you always settle for your best, you'd be amazed at what you're actually going to achieve. Like, and you just do those little moments. Like, when you feel like shit, I can that's how, like, a big way I get confidence. Like, well, there you, you go, feel like shit, you keep pushing mm. forward. I was wondering your opinion. It wasn't like a question right or wrong. I just said like, your opinion. I don't say it was right or wrong either. And then I just wanted to give you my opinion. Okay, what did yeah. I ask you? And perspective. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Perspective, yeah. It doesn't matter what happens. You come home, your dog still love you. So. Exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't have a dog, buy one. If you don't want a dog, wear a yeah. cat. Yeah. If you're a freak, get Go a and get a staffy though. I just love you no matter what, you know? Have you got a dog, dear? Yeah. Best thing ever? Best. Mate, their best dog day. situation is that good, man. Because so? Their dogs are like best mates. And yeah, they can't we're separate we're now. Dog oh, each, right? Oh, we've yeah. both got one, yeah. And okay, then yeah. we lived at home, so they just become like besties. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. like we tried to separate them and it just was not happening. And so they get so, a little sad. Did they? Yeah. So now it's just like, we've got to share them, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're at your house one night and then they're at your house another night. No, we've got like two, three nights. Whatever. Just depends. Just whatever. But they're the best. That's the best. And if you want to look at them, Tom's lovely girlfriend has even made an Instagram page for him. Oh, she's one of those, is she? The happy stuff. It's grouse. It's is actually the good guy. They're cute dogs, man. Well, Jake always asks for photos. Like, every time he doesn't have them, he goes, If I don't have the dogs on it, I want to see them. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, no, you know, I'll, I'll, you just, I get where you're coming from. Yeah. I do. Just like photos it. out there of them. Okay. okay. Fair enough. And no matter what happens, mate, you win, lose, play bad, whatever, they still love you, they, mate. They, they, they do. You know? They do, they do. I've got a, got a dog at home as well. It's, it's Josh's dog, it's not mine, and I'm moving out soon. I'm very sad about that, but... He's um, a good dog, too. He's the best, eh? Good old Louis. 
Yeah. He was a homeless dog before we had him. Oh, mad. That's why him and Toby get along because they would have something in common if Toby didn't play football. Mm. Be homeless. Yeah, homeless. <laughs> <laughs> It was touch and go there for a minute. For a minute, it was touch Could and go. Could have been like, yeah, yeah, a couple of decisions went, you know, against you. Yep. Fortunately, you got a house over your head. Yeah, you got, got a roof on my you head. Pay for um, your own clothes. About to smack me early in the weekend by sixty points. <laughs> Why sixty? That's a lot. Like, you I guys have never won by sixty against anyone. Um, and you just got dusted last week. Yep. And you're not and playing. You're not, yeah, you're <laughs> so like, play. you don't really get you, the pro chat. in first person. You're literally not playing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. Friends. I'm embarrassed for you. But perspective is a good thing from friends. I like it. Uh, and yeah. thank you for humbling me. And uh, let's continue this podcast. <laughs> you're welcome. You do near that from time to time. No, I do. You're right. Anyway, Toby, uh, you're being just please be quiet. I do want to ask. We, we touched before about um touched on before about how you know you have a finance degree, which is ridiculous. Uh, you don't need sports like, science. Uh, sports science. No, mm. when I was younger, I did a bachelor of management, sport and exercise. But then I recently just started a masters of. You're going to laugh. Here we go. Masters of counselling. Oh, no, I'm not going to laugh at that. Do you want to be a counsellor? you want to be in that space? Is First that patient you? myself. And then I don't know. 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 Ever. The next hundred years, if you guys were eternal, eternally alive, immortal. Now that you've you created generational work. wealth, you guys do have to f- figure out something to fill your time in because you know you don't want you know. You you nothing all the time. Yeah. Netflix only last, has so many movies on it. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's, that's you, can, you know you buy so many houses and stuff. Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Next birthday, I'm thirty. You know, so it's getting on a little Ooh, bit in terms 30. of 30. in terms of rugby league. Yeah, of course. Cool. So it was like having to think like I need to do something. So yeah. I, I was like, I'm definitely going back to uni because. Just need a, something outside of footy, you know. Yeah, footy yeah. is driving me mad, at, you know, at times. Yeah. So then to sort of come up with this idea, like the idea of trying to help others, would be, yeah, it'd be, it's been good for me so far. And see how we go. Yeah. It really fits your, you know, your whole character too. So it's a definitely something that would definitely suit you. Yeah, and like you said, that how important it is to separate what you do and your identity from football. That's right. And I think another thing is like, got empathy for people. I said I'm not perfect myself, you know. Like. Mm. Got, you can really you're relate. On, you can you're relate. Going on in your mind, so. <laughs> you're definitely relatable to <laughs> yeah. the things that you create in your head. That's right. So yeah, yeah. No, that's awesome, mate. That's awesome. Well, this is called cool stuck in the middle. We'll talk about what's like. We're stuck in the middle. of What's happening now around us? Like, what's next? What's next for you boys? How do you guys reckon this year pans out for you? Um, what are you? What are your goals for this year? What's um, What's driving you forward? Oh, I'd love to make the semi-finals. I guess that's everyone's sort of goal. You know, love to. Be there, obviously. Um, Not the grand final. You just want to make semis. <laughs> yeah, steps, right? oh, I, just, I said three things each day, just yeah. slowly building. <laughs> yeah, the semi finals. Are, are you listening, Liam? The semi finals are a while. Like, 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 you can't make semi finals today. I'm saying I'd love to make the semi finals. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, I just that'd be a good question. It's a bit, a bit defensive. Well, okay, well, if you want me to go back to this week, we're, we're playing Cronulla. I'm not actually playing, but I'd love to see my team win. That'd be a great start. <laughs> okay, that's, that's a really, step. Next one. That's a short term goal. Medium term goal. What happens next? Medium term. Get yourself in a position to make semis. We're in a position to make the semis, and yep. then and then you don't want to make grand final. So many no, 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 fans, I just so. never got there. <laughs> don't, you know, just small steps. You know, yeah. like you don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. You got to run before you can walk. That's no, right. You got to walk before you can run. Walk before you can run. Yep. Sorry. Yeah. Tom, any, you got to run before you can, can walk. walk. You are an imbecile. <laughs> <laughs> you can't yeah. run before you walk, mate. You got to walk first. I know. I just crawl then walk then run. Well, I ran first. I'm different. You have um, never run. Oh. Now you after footy, any any. Any goals, small steps I keep hearing from Jake? Have you got any small goals in place? Have you? What interests you? Yeah, what does interest well, I'm you? I'm not, not really too sure. Like, I, I did a degree in commerce, which is majoring in finance. Um, I'm a little Are bit you going to use that? In that space. I, I do a little bit of work in it, but it's not too sure. Like, I, it's hard to see a world where I'm not involved in rugby league, some capacity. I obviously answer. love the game, so um, who knows? Who knows? Hopefully... So got a few years left in me, and then we'll work it out from there. Well, any more of those zingies, you'll definitely be in the commentary team, because <laughs> yeah. that was some great content from you. You should add me into this podcast. You reckon? I'd be a good third edition. Do you yeah, think so? Like a little cameo, I guess. Yeah, yeah we're working no, like, on those, like little imma- those immature outbursts. <laughs> 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 really hold on that. Just not on a Friday. Friday yeah, 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 not on a Friday. Yeah, 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 sweet. Yeah, we'll try and work you into our busy schedule. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I just actually we're full. I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have enough budget. We're actually losing money. We're leaking. Yeah, we well, can add to the budget. Yeah, oh, you can. <laughs> True. You, you can think uh, about that. You, you can, can pay producer Dan. Welcome to the podcast. You made it. You made it. So good to have you on and uh, continue to have you on. As long as you can find us a new producer, you're straight. Yeah, 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 we'll you're pay trading. you. <laughs> 
stuck in the middle just became three. Do you want to join as well? Perhaps or? Yeah, mate. Four. Oh, it's an orgy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Cut that out. No, Cut. don't. Cut that out. <laughs> Cut. Cut. <laughs> no. Anyway. Oh wow! Well, wouldn't want to wouldn't want to keep you guys too long. I know there's um, there's tolls and there's traffic and yeah, I'm tolls, you, tolls you don't pay. Really really not, really not. It, it hit a nerve, and I'm sorry that I brought you out on Friday afternoon. We're not yeah. perfect. I'm not a funny guy. I was just thinking it on the way over. I thought that might have been good to throw. No, there, you, know? <laughs> <laughs> you made me laugh more than Tom by far, and that's like oh, we do have some we do have some questions to answer actually. Some fans, some fans have sent some. We have some fans. Oh, oh, funnily enough, yeah, 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 we do we do actually promise we haven't sent messages in ourselves. We aren't that sick. Yeah, yeah, we do have some fans. I did, right, dis- I, I, I did actually Mexican discuss city? saying that. I did discuss saying we should write our own ones in, but luckily they luckily came. Luckily, if, if no one sent them in, we're not going to lie here. We would have definitely <laughs> <laughs> yeah. fabricated some questions. But so how do people know we are coming in? No, no, not, 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 mate, it's not all about you. Eh? I know you're, <laughs> yeah, I know you're that is such a new question to ask. Sorry, the way, you, the way you said it. Yeah, well, just just questions in general. I know, that's my bad. You'd be one narcissistic. Do you know Liam used to hate me back in the Oh, day. yes, I would love to tell that story. <laughs> okay, well, yes, this story first, then that, go. Where was it? Were you so, so, I was there, Harold, his first year at Manly, Harold Matz, it was under 16s, and I was yeah. a year younger than him, and I just Liam was up, like the sort of the man dog of, the, of, like, he come from the Central Coast, wasn't yep. the area, they brought him in, the big dog, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, he was gotcha. same size. Same yeah. size chin, everything. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, was, yeah. I was an angry kid. And he was yeah, gronk. Yeah. Yeah, 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 absolute gronk. Yeah, yeah. And not the, not the a, perfect masterpiece you see this today. Like, there was a there was, there was, a, work on, there was a lot going on back then that I didn't know what was going. on. He was on. a good I was, good kid. I, I was, you yeah, that. I was yeah, a very no. very average kid. But <laughs> yeah. I know all this. I, yeah. did, I don't know this. So I was shut up. Locally, quite quietly spoken, Derek. Yeah, fine, Derek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just looked strange too, though. No, that was trying to trying to do their best. Very skinny. Hadn't grown into his ears yet. Yeah. Okay. And um, oh, huge. <laughs> yeah, I just just was training with him, and he um, because he was the alpha dog, and he probably looked at me as Nerd. someone much lesser than him. Yeah, yeah, you would do that. He hated me. I yeah, right. wouldn't talk to me. Hate was strong. I heard big raps about this kid, and his first session he dropped like three balls. He was he was oh, nervous. So that's the reason to hate someone. No, no, I didn't hate. Like we're throwing around terms of hate and this and that. I that's didn't the reason hate him. you didn't like someone. I just thought less of him. Like, <laughs> At the time, like I said, I was just like, I had my own little things going on and I was like, this guy's fucking shit. (laughs) (laughs) Someone gave him a mad rap and then he dropped three balls and I was like, what the fuck's he doing training with us? (laughs) Like like I said, I thought I was a mad dog, right? Well, how how long did the no talking hate or- I don't reckon that first first year Year? of match- Probably a year. And then we started playing. Like when you actually started playing. Yeah. I wouldn't have- then yeah. you got a bit like I don't know. We got a bit older. Like I calmed down a little we, bit. I didn't think I was the best in the world. At, like after sixteen, fucking bond over ping pong. We'd play so yeah, play heaps ping pong. pong. Started chatting oh, more. Started, yeah. Then like yeah, I was like I was SG born. You were year young. Yeah. And then yeah, we hung out heaps more and played together. We got like became friends. But like okay, but there, there was, was a was little a... period there when I first met him. I was just like, who is this thing? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Look at us now yeah. though, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Besties. But, yeah. Um, yeah. All right. That was. I didn't know that. I really. I, I love funny. learning. So thank and, you for telling me that. And Jake was my first skipper. We said that that they first NRL skipper. Get out the fucking oh. fan questions. Let's oh. go, oh. fan. Got yeah. a couple of questions from the fans. I can remember one of them off, off the top of my head. Go. You wrote it. No, no, no. Oh, you know what? <laughs> now I'm not going to say it because it's going to seem that way. Uh, was it, yeah. Would you rather fight ten Charlie rabbits, the little rabbit we got as a, as a um, mascot? As a mascot. All right. Ten Charlie. Where's the rabbit size Latrell Mitchells or one Latrell Mitchell size Charlie? That's I'd like you got the wrong way around. What? This is going great. Yeah. Would you this rather is... fight ten Charlie the rabbit size Latrell Mitchells or one Latrell Mitchell size Charlie? <laughs> You're saying it wrong. Probably I don't one know. Latrell I Mitchell just size. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, he's small. Isn't it's he? meant to be ten Charlie, ten Latrell size Charlie rabbits or one Charlie size Latrell. That's not what he said. Well, that's <laughs> what it's meant to be. Yeah, well, anyway, tell, I remember the other Nicholas, one. Mate. I, remember, I remember the other one. The other one was. This. Question. Yeah. <laughs> Keep sending the fan question, guys. We love them so much. They're really good. Maybe no, just put this one in capital so we can read them. Would you rather have? Would you rather have denim for skin or live in a bag of milk for the rest of your life? Denim. What do you mean by live in a bag of milk? Like, so your head is out of a plastic bag of milk, but your whole body is inside of it. Or your skin's denim. Or your skin's denim. Skin. I'm oh, skin denim. Can I yeah. wear like clothes over them? No, you don't need to. Yeah, we're wearing denim. Oh, but like if you want to change the material. But I, I, I don't want to look like I'm just full denim. Yeah, that's true. Like, well, yeah. I guess you I can. I don't really that's want like... to be in a bag of milk, so I'm going to take the <laughs> <laughs> If I'm being honest. I'm all right with the bag of milk. Oh, yeah. Oh, it. <laughs> that's so fucked. But, like, is, every, is everything denim? 
Everything. Everything. Everything's, everything's denim. Like my face denim. is denim. Your face. Yeah, you're, oh, you're in the so milk up to here your whole life. Imagine your face is denim. Imagine someone looking at you and be like, look yeah, at this you're, you're in milk. You used that, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, but at least milk, you can look normal and be like, you put some strawberry oh, in there. Like, you yeah. Are you looking normal in a bag of milk? <laughs> 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 I don't know if you're walking around. Anyone's normal in okay, a bag of milk. I, I would go up and talk to a guy that was in a bag of milk. Are you going up and talking to a guy that's full denim? No, I'm, I'm so not. curious. Yes, why are you nah, denim? I'm, <laughs> I'm running away. I'm running yeah, away. I'm scared. I'm He's terrified. Away. I, I, the it's milk, pretty, it's the milk's one. curious. I'm, I'm going to go with milk. Yeah, I want to see what's going on. Is this a skin care routine? Is this like, yeah, like do you like cows? Do you get to pick the color of the denim? Or just blue denim? Well, is, isn't denim no, always blue? Yeah, no, it's um, black denim, isn't it? Uh, I think it's blue. Yeah, blue. Yeah, it's it's, blue. it's blue. blue and it gets dyed. Uh, um, if skin? any fans think otherwise, please put it in and get some more questions there. More would you rather? You like would you rather? Um, so you're going with denim. You're going with bag of milk. Yeah. You're going with denim skin. What are you going? I'm with? probably going bag of milk. But oh, like, so you just sprayed me, and now you're with me. Yeah, yeah you're saying I don't want to look abnormal. Like, <laughs> what's normal about a bag of milk? I, I was just preying up that point. But I feel I'm just like thinking like my face is denim. Yeah, no, like, there's no really where to go from there, is there? In terms of like tongue and cheeks and that. <laughs> <laughs> you mean kissing girls? That's, that's getting cut. <laughs> <laughs> that's in there. Anyway, if anyone else, anyone else watches that show, has any other, any other questions? Um, like to send them through. Like we said, there's no filter. If we'll, anyone's we'll, still listening, shout out there. We will answer. Uh, Jake, any give you a thumbs up for anyone that's still listening. <laughs> 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 please, uh, please send them through. Nothing's off limits. We will answer any question. Any that question. You ask us. <laughs> just send them in, and we'll answer them. We just, we just try. Who sent them in? Um, um, know, should we give them a shout out? Yeah, give them a shout, shout out for being out. good listeners. Go on. That was uh, Liam Nicholas. <laughs> Liam, oh, Liam and, uh, Nicholas. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Liam. And Toby <laughs> Randall. <laughs> 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 And uh, Corey Geldart, Geldart, sorry if I can't say your name right, mate, so a bit of a tongue twister. Thank you for being listening, though, you sound yeah, like thanks, you're mate. I love the word. Shout love out it. for the comments, shout out for the message. Yeah, And yeah. remember, give Jakey a like for the we thumbs up. a thousand likes and we'll come back on for another thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> um, all right, thank you everyone for listening. Like and subscribe if you want to see more, if you have any <laughs> questions. And <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, bye-bye. <laughs> thanks, guys. This podcast was made by Afternoon Sport Group.